Hi, I'm Andrew horsel uh, This is my 70.3 Mallorca race day debrief kind of quick video. Uh, before we go any further, quickly click that subscribe. Uh, big thank you to everyone who supported me, so a couple of my coaches uh, and all my sponsors. And I hope you guys uh, really enjoy this video almost as much as I suffered today. The day started pretty normally. I woke up at uh, about two and a half hours before the race. Quickly grabbed breakfast, so I have porridge and then some sort of like bread product. So I had a bagel today, uh, nice and simple. Uh, a couple of coffees and then back to, uh, straight down to uh, to the bike rack and uh, get sorted before the swim start. Um, so I guess it's probably best just to chat through, you know, swim, bike, and run, which is nice and simple. Um, swim kind of. The only goal really was to be the first swimmer out of the water. Um, sounds like you know a big task, but from an elite swimming background, that's kind of my goal is always to be at the front of the race straight away. Um, so I managed to tick that box. Um, in all honesty, just just didn't have didn't have any gear. I guess it's probably good to say now that you know I, I actually had COVID. Um, well, two and a half weeks ago. Um, so this time, sort of 12, 13 days ago, I was still lying in bed, uh, unable to train. Um, so I've come, come a long way in the last 12 days. Um, possibly you could say I shouldn't start, uh, but I felt like I was physically okay to start the day. Um, so yeah, but I guess the first indications that I wasn't 100% was on the swim. 100 meters in, just felt very fatigued, not quite myself. Um, but you know, I, I knew my ability level and I knew that I could still get the job done in the swim so you know I still wanted to execute that aspect of the race to the best of my ability um, and then you know take it step by step. Um, I then ran into T2 and I kind of had a uh, T1 sorry and I kind of had loads of technical difficulties so um, dropped my visor I had to go back five meters pick it up and then I had a couple of officials um, actually stopping me because my uh, zipper I managed to uh, I've managed to break it somehow, uh, but my zipper wouldn't zip all the way up to the top. Um, so I had a couple of officials trying to stop me and tell me to zip up, but obviously I couldn't. Um, so I managed to lose, pro I reckon probably 30 seconds, 30 to 40 seconds, and that was enough time for a lot of people to come through. Um, so I actually ended up getting on the bike in, I don't know, I think it was about fourth or fifth, but kind of with a big bunch of people as well. Um, I had some good, advice from a uh, YouTube favorite triathlon Dan telling me to not do all the work and try and sit in a bit of a pack um, so that's exactly what I did uh, on the first sort of 20k until we hit the climb just got myself positioned in that in that lead pack sat in tried to do as little work as I physically could um, and then you know see what I could then do later in the race <coughs> it was pretty clear when I started climbing that you know I just didn't didn't have the legs but also didn't have the the lungs for the day because I, I think I just felt like I was almost like breathing out of one lung or breathing through a straw however you want to like, kind of categorize it but I just felt like I wasn't able to get a full breath um, and then, then my heart rate just felt like it was you know beating through the roof 
um, which which are you know side effects of of having COVID and sort of after an infection. So um, yeah, did the best I could up the climb. Managed to lose a lot of places on the climb, um, but then actually found a bit of a group with Harry Palmer, Will Monday, Brett uh, Halliwell, um, Robbie from the States, and a few others, um, and kind of descended really well. Um, and then actually, when we hit the flat section, I kind of started to feel a bit like myself again. I found some legs, managed to ride away from that group and into T2. And then, you know, as I got off the bike, it was pretty clear that I was just going to, you know, do the best I could on the day, um, which <laughs> wasn't great, to be honest. I was kind of running at Ironman pace, if not a little bit slower than that sort of pace. Um, but I felt like I'd committed to the event. I committed to doing the race. Um, it was kind of a late decision to do the race. I did. I made the decision when I was actually in bed with COVID because I couldn't race Ironman Texas and I was desperate to race because I was so fit. Um, but yeah, I, I committed to the race and I, I just wanted to do the race justice by you know running those 21K to the best of my ability. I did knock it back a few times just to, just to conserve and, and kind of get through. But overall, I'm happy with how I executed knowing that 12 days ago I was lying in bed with COVID. Um, I couldn't have asked much, much more for my body. I, I kind of tricked myself in the last few days that actually, you know, maybe it's still there. Maybe I haven't lost anything from COVID, but the reality is actually, yeah, not bad, not bad. So I, I think I'm probably gonna dive into that a little bit more in another video <clears throat> um, and kind of my recovery from COVID and then also my build up to some of my other races I've got in the next couple of months. But yeah, for now, it was an epic race, 70.3 Mallorca. If you haven't done it, it is epic. It's such a beautiful bike course. Don't think it really favors a big guy like me on the climbs, um, but it's such a lovely destination for a race. There's so many British people out here. Um, yeah, definitely do it.